Hi guys, so we're at Golden Ears Campground and I'm going to try and make, oh, that was the hubby bringing in the water, <laughs> but I'm going to try and make some poiki and hope that it comes out good. So I'll go through all the steps that I did to get to the final end product. Thank you for watching and please continue to subscribe and like my videos. Hi guys. So first time using the pot. So what I've done is um, I've put some water and I collected a, a whole bunch of um, vegetable scraps that I'm going to boil in my pot for the first time. And then I'm gonna throw that away and then I'll start cooking in it. Okay, so let me show you. See, so I've got a whole bunch of onions Peels, So once my pot is clean, I put in about half a cup of, I'd say about 80 mils of cooking oil. And I also put in two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, which I used to brown my meat. So um, I just kept browning the meat, as you can see, just mixing it around and uh, put Worcestershire sauce in there and that kind of really bubbled it up but it smells so good so at this point um, after the meat was browned I put in butternut potato and corn and I, I didn't I don't really mix after I add in each part and then um, I cover that up and then I got my spice mix now my spice mix I had pre-made this at home and it was cloves, berry, berry, paprika, cumin, cayenne, turmeric, garlic powder, salt and pepper and I sprinkled that all over the, um, the food and then next was a cup of red wine which I put in my trusty um, <laughs> firmness so I had my cup of red wine that I added in there and then I added water now the water I put enough water so as to submerge everything so it covered the meat and the vegetables and made it um, you know so it's fully covered as you can see and then um, after that, um, the next step was to put in the extra veggies I had. So I had some chopped up celery, some red pepper. I had a lemon that I had sliced and I popped that in, in there too and closed it up. And the final part would be, um, I would go and put in some cabbage and some red onion. So I'll just grab that and you guys will see. If you guys have any other suggestions of stuff I could put in there, I'd love to hear from you. And um, I'm always willing to try new things. So uh, there goes my cabbage. And oh, we don't need the plastic, Tiffany. There we go. <laughs> and so I put that and then I let this <laughs> simmer on like really like medium low heat. And it's a fire, so you kind of have to use your judgment so as to make it's not rapidly bubbling, as you can see. It's just a slow, gentle simmer. And it did this for about an hour. And in the meantime, I made some cornmeal. From my country, we call it sadza. Um, and of course, I had forgotten the stick, the proper um, <laughs> cooking stick for that. So I had to use my spatula. Let me tell you, it still came out pretty good. And... Um, well, that was waiting on the side. Uh, you can see inside the level of fluid in the um, 
in the pot is going down so now at this point it's almost two maybe two and a half hours that this has been slowly simmering and it was almost ready to go we dished it out and um, you can see the meat was so tender oh we just couldn't we just couldn't get enough of this it was delicious you really have to try this and if you do let me know how yours turned out and um, all the best guys remember to like and subscribe